Hello everybody, Jet here and welcome back to my Albion playthrough here in Imperator Rome where we are aggressively expanding in our last few years of play. We need to move some move some people around at the moment because we're, we're taking a bit of attrition here so uh, I want to get my guys spread out again. I also want to get some fortifications along this borderline um, which I'm going to need to knock some other buildings over in order to build there we go okay and we've still got the secondary line here which I can probably drop off at least a couple of there. We've got a nice secondary line as well to an extent around here, which I'm happy to keep. But yeah, so, because uh, we've just taken a big chunk of territory here, which is getting us dangerously close to Etruria, and everybody around us is allied up at the moment. That's fine, we need to regain our manpower. We do have some extra support for the uh, Pretender, which is a little annoying. Um, oh, we can demand support. I don't think I want to do that at the moment. It's only a little bit. Anybody important? No, no important families which are scorned. And we have Starving Pops and Venter again. This is because Venter has such a big population. I want to promote quite a few of these up, actually, because... Uh, We've got far too many slaves there, and having a bad balance isn't good. In fact, our policy here will slowly fix that. Uh, but anyway, let's, uh, let's start moving in. Let's speed the time up just a little bit here, so we can keep everything moving. As so we took some territory here, you know, well, basically we, we've taken, not quite... France, but you know, we've got a bit of territory to take to get get there. And we're not gonna take everything because these guys are my big allies. I am now a great uh, a great power, so I can't have alliances, annoyingly. Um, there are a few other great powers over here. The Seculids, the Silicids, and the and Moria are both great powers. Um, I think is Egypt? No. So there are a few other great powers, but you know. They're, they're nothing to worry about too much. God, the map looks different now I've done the, no, you know, hide things. Because some of these nations look far bigger when you when they're not stuck to their little valleys and it counts the um, uninhabitable terrain. But yeah, no, we've, we've done quite well here. Nice, big advance. I did have at least one unit stack right. Oh, let's get rid of the Mercs. Uh, Judea has folded. Wow, Judea is still in existence, but it's tiny. I'm amazed it's lived so long. Um. Oh wow, I'm getting a bit of lag on my movement because we well, we've been waiting so long. But yeah, so we we we're still allied with these guys obviously, we're not friends with anymore. Uh and for some strange reason they, they don't like me. Uh but you know. <laughs> it's not that bad. That is actually going to be a uh, fixable. Uh da -da. Assassinate God. Ah! I discovered something. So, to assassinate, I need to find characters. I don't know how I do that. And I can potentially assassinate people, but I've got to make friends with somebody. Um, here we go. So, we're trying to make friends with the wife of the leader of Troria. 
and then potentially we can assassinate people within the nation. Um, hang on, is he a Lativius? And we're. Right, so it does just show me the person in the region, so I don't know who's the actual uh, leader. It's gonna be him. Um, wait, my rival. See, plan assassination. Um, we have to have a friend in Etruria, so. We'll, we'll work on getting ourselves that friend, and then we'll start assassinating Aturians. Hmm. I, I do need my manpower to build up a bit, but that shouldn't take too long. Um, I say that. We need 123k and we're getting 20k. Uh, make an impression. A moderate amount of progress. These are all moderate. Our best warriors will turn her head. And we're basically going to throw everything at this, trying to get her on the side. Uh, some of these guys are going to take a look. Well, deep pockets. Using our nation's income to try and bring her on the side. We have a lot of merc sitting around in our nation. There are more mercs than I have troops sitting around in our nation, which is kind of terrifying when you think about it. Um, send her the man to serve us. We're sending a gladiator to serve her. Carthage is being battered here. Ooh, Carthage and Etruria are at war. I am still half tempted just to have a bring, a, bring my fleet down here and have a small Carthaginian war with her. Carthage. I think so, yeah, there's a Carthaginian war going on between these two. Unsurprisingly, there's a bit of Carthage right in there. Wow! Carthage is about to lose a big old chunk of territory from the looks of it. Um, who's on Carthage's side here? Is anybody? No. Hmm. Saxonia is a little bit. Uh, rebuild the temple. It's quite big. But not a threat to me, to be fair. I said, they've probably got more legions, because I'm actually quite l low on the amount of legions I've actually got recruited at any one time. Um, I really need to get my manpower back up. That is the key thing. That said, we can throw a mass of money into... We've got a ton of money, and we've got a huge income, so we can throw a lot of money into mercenaries. Yeah, we'll trade. Um, improve opinion. Try and get them to, uh... Oh yeah, we can guarantee, give them a guarantee again after battering them in a war. To be fair, they joined the war. Um... Hmm... Building slots, plus one, that sounds good. Especially as that means I can do this. Buffing up my line against Ichoria and Carthage to an extent. That'll do. Uh, aggressive expansion reduction. Unsurprisingly, I keep going for that. That will add a lot more cost to my forts, but I did realise I did accidentally build another fort there. I'm going to leave it. Uh, basically, I, I do want to keep an eye out. There is a lot of alliances going on, but... Oh, 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 damn it. I don't have the manpower for a war at the moment. I would love to take them out and get up to here. 
move all of our defences. That said, Choria, we, you know, we would have had to push Choria back at some point. I really need to build my manpower up, and my manpower will start shooting up soon. Oh, we need to move you. I need to keep an eye on these armies, because as they grow, we are going to start getting issues again. I actually want to check something here. Let's have a look at my laws. So... Succession law. Um, the principal succession is to allow female child, children of the monarch to succeed the throne when there are no valid male heirs. I don't want to change that. I can't do that anyway. In angelic seniority, uh, it's a rare form of reigning most younger brothers are higher in order than the sons. Family marriage. Um, Succession, the man of the the eldest child of ruler will be the primary heir, regardless of agenda. Um, that's annoying. I was hoping I could get something to change. Who is my primary oldest child? She's much better. I, I want to swap to that. We are, we are going to be changing some laws to uh, change our assigned heir uh, to make it my daughter rather than my son. Because my daughter is rubbish. Sorry, my son. Let's have a look. He is terrible. Whereas she, she's not great, but she's much better than my son. Um, let's arrange her a marriage. Do, 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 do. To the pretender. <laughs> Supply limit 25% extra. That seems very good. Everything we can do to up my supply limit is good. I thought we'd already arranged a marriage fair. Why is arranged marriage not working? Oh, I've got to hit select, don't I? Durr. Good. See, my spouse isn't great. Which could be, I don't know if it actually affects it. I'm the best possible person all round. Her, even though she's 60, I'm marrying my son to a 60 year old. <laughs> That's a little bit. Yeah. But you know, if it works, it works. Though I'm going to be trying to change my laws to stop my son being my next heir. Now, I'm a little worried this is going to cause a massive issue with who supports who. But we'll find out. We're, we're not dying yet. So, we'll have time to cement all of this. Um, that will completely change who him is. A lot of these guys do have... Oops, someone's died. Is that the person I just married off? Never mind. Ugh, we're still we're getting there slowly on our manpower, but it's going to take a while. Once we're up, we'll build a few more armies as well. Because uh, I think, you know, I, remiss of me, I, I should have a few more sort of 25 stacks. Just sitting in reserve. These ones, which are going to take a while to build back up. And until they're done, you know, it's, it's not going to take that long, you know, a few months and we should be back at full. Yeah, I guess we're going to give him some more troops, which is a little annoying because he didn't really want to, but... Okay, we're 
close. I think it was 260 something. I'm, I'm going to miss my current leader because my current leader is awesome. I'm not just saying that in a, you know, he really is good. Oh, wow, there. I oh, know that's not them. These guys are being obliterated, which is good as far as I'm concerned. Extra port defense there. Ooh, we might take some extra happiness. Everywhere is going up, even if it's... Ooh, uh, give up on your dreams. Even if it's being cultured, Iceniaized, and Icenia culture is spreading very nicely. Right. So, family and marriage. So, it's the eldest child of Ruben Primo, regardless of gender. In order for a strong legitimate bloodline, however, it becomes commonplace for royal siblings to intermarry. Thus avoiding the chance of a lineage. Um, that should that will change my um How's his brother? Does he have a brother? Nope, he's got a lot of sisters. Hmm. Let's look at the others. Because some of these, you know, I'm not care about maritime taxation laws. We can tax people more. Uh, exemption for nobility. Extra corruption. Wow. A lot more loyalty. Um. Extra national manpower that lowers happiness, so martial education, professional generals, wages, but extra loyalty. Mercenaries. Uh, that's not necessarily bad. I think we can go for that. We can always change it later on. There we go. Completely changed the, le the group. And actually, she is much more popular from the looks of it. So, so she is definitely the primary successor. He's second, but she is the primary. She's got a lot of support. She is much better. Uh, she's fertile, which is good, I guess. Uh, weak will, that's a little annoying, but you know. Uh, good prominence and oh, submissive. Yeah. But she's got much better stats than her brother. That was a little bit of basically dynastic engineering to make sure we got the right person next. Um, did we actually make friends here? <gasps> Plan assassination. He's the chief magistrate, which makes he's the leader. There we go. Uh, Our advisor to Rock Overture is a trusted friend of our empire. Has made contact with our agents to true. The planned assassination is taking check over his request. We sent aid. Okay, yeah. 5,000 troops! Well, 5,000 manpower, not necessarily troops, but. So we have an assassination plot going on here. And basically, if you assassinate, basically, you can sit here and you can keep assassinating people. Murder is a tricky business. Once more, our agents have received communication from our contacts in Etruria. It would appear that she is having some trouble planning her escape. Once Trusky has been assassinated, she demands we send a scapegoat in order. Um, and risk our own? Never. Uh, eh, I don't care about losing somebody. So we're sending a scapegoat. Poor person, oh dear. Uh, our ruler is now unmarried. Let's find someone else. There we go. There we go. We need a new master of guard. There we go as well. Uh, 
Our agent in Europe informed us that the attempted assassination of Titanus will go ahead imminently. She only requests one further instruction. In what manner should she attempt to do him? Poison. Arrange a bathing accent because we got the crafty. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, Sony removed our military access. The assassination was successful. Oh, we lost our person. But uh, our assassination is successful. The Etruscan corsair told it appear the brave assassin Corbitere succeeded the task to rid the world of him. The poor woman sent to take the fall. Splendid. Well done. Let's do this again. <laughs> Anything, he must die. Spending money. Uh, no, I'm not going to risk our own this time. I want this to be built up a bit more before we go to war. Another bathing instant. Etruscan kings just need to learn how to use their baths. Oh, Carthage came out of that wall without losing anything. Ah, oh, no. It didn't work. Anyway, I'm not that fast. I'm not going to do any more. Um, the grass is greener. Okay, some of these, one of our places is doing better. We are going to take out these guys next if they are still... Oh god damn, they're now friends with Ligonia again. They weren't allied with Ligonia a little bit ago. That's a little annoying. I don't want to be going to war with Ligonia. I could deal with them. I just don't really want to be going to war with them, so. Um, yeah, a bit more primary culture happiness. Oh wow, so Carthage gained the territory, they didn't actually lose any there, and these guys have had somebody else pop up in the middle of them. So, Tartessia is not doing so well then. Carthage is still quite good. Um, Macedonia are probably one of the biggest threats, and Mosia are growing nicely as well. Oh wow, Saxonia took a big chunk up there too. I don't want to go to War of Ligonia. Um, especially as they're guaranteed by Macedon. And I'm not ready for a war of somebody like Macedon, even though we're not close. Ah, oh, damn, Ligonia. I could very easily go to War of them, though. Oh, there, I've got a peace treaty with him. <laughs> I could be really cheeky and literally build a fleet down here and expand into the into, out here. Oh, Carthage and Macedon are at war. Interesting. I'm not going to take the hit. Um, so, they don't actually border anywhere other than there. So, I suspect that's going to be a short, or, short war. Right. Let's pull a unit out of here. Not quite sure how many people I put into there, but it's just a nice mix. I don't like having all my armies being exactly the same. Um, 
So putting a nice mix together is quite nice actually because it gives us a various different armies. So it's hard for people to pick. Again, I'm, I don't play players. This is there are probably far better ways to play if you're playing against players. So eh, extra siege engines. Ooh, reduced naval attrition. That's actually good for moving troops around. Eventually. Um. Lots of granaries just to increase our growth. I know it's only a little bit, but overall, over the entirety of my nation, it'll make a big difference. That'll do. Shift clicked. I want to see if he builds both. Because I've shift clicked to tell him to move two places. Um, I really should. Because building roads, only being able to build one province at a time seems a little awkward to me. Um, So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, he's just walking. He's not building now. Which does make building roads quite a pain. Okay, lots of those granaries are now built. Let's pull a unit of heavy out of here. Heavy tab out of here. And do the same again. Guy's burning off quite a bit of our power, manpower, but actually not that much. So we'll look at this. Converty, converty. I think we're going to go for. I don't like bleed them dry being used. This is upping my uh, tyranny a bit. But we'll. No research is needed, but we'll start um, converting a lot more of these pops. Oh wow, these guys aren't even... Are they a different religion down here? No, no, but they're not the set. They're not... Um... Yeah, Koteni. So they're a different culture group as well. Not that it makes much difference. Ship surgeons. I'm going to keep pushing through these to get all of the, um, uh, words failing me. All of the, um, attrition reduction ones. So look at these guys, they're at war, which means some of their alliances may have broken, not yet. Damn them. Eh, I'll pay.
them. Squish them, maybe, but I don't want to guarantee them. Right, let's pull a unit out of here. Ooh, definitely a unit of archers. If we can find some sure aren't loyal. Five. There we go. And we're nowhere near skinting ourselves yet. The idea here is just to build ourselves to a situation where I can have armies sitting back quite happily while other armies are advancing. Um, there you go, getting three more armies worth of troops built up there. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Da, 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 da. Group to army. That one's going. Uh, we've got another one to go now. I think I may have actually didn't put so many extra in there, but never mind. And one more to go. Ooh, and we're manpowered out. There we go. that one empty for now. I'm going to leave that one as a half stack, so because everything doesn't need to be a full stack, I can always fill it up a bit more later on. Extra military tech not only makes a huge difference at this point. But, you know, that, that burnt a lot of manpower off, guys, but it's giving us standing armies, which is still useful. Um, because we still have, I mean, we can get over a million manpower if we to want, were to want, guys. Um, you know, if we would sit back, we're going to run out of time before that happens, but, you know. Keep it on these. At the end of the day, if I have to go to War of Lagonia, I will go to War of Lagonia. Um, I won't necessarily take anything from them. I'll just hot fight a defensive war along here. Uh, and in fact, to, to that stance we're gonna pop some more fortresses along here and level up these ones an unwelcome gift uh, this is hideous uh, okay game popularity and suddenly loses yeah
There we go. So we're just buffing our, fort our line of fortifications along the Lagonian border there a bit. Um, so it'll be easier to hold them and pen them in. Uh, not that I'm worried, you know, how much do they actually have? Uh, they've got a fair few cohorts. I don't know how many I actually count as having. Um, ooh. Hmm. I actually want to go for something different. Oops, somebody's fallen ill. I think that was my daughter who'd fallen ill. Yeah, let's seek, her, seek treatment for her. Oh, got arthritis, ooh. Um, oh, my man Pat is already shooting back up, as you can see already. So, what do we want? Two more of them, three more of them. Oops, I did four, never mind. And two more of them. There we go, and everything is growing nicely now. He is the only worrying one, because he's very close support, but he does nobody else has really has much support. Um, and she is just much better than him. What is she doing? I should put her in charge of an army, actually. Elika. There we go. And she will gain bonuses, you know, gain experience to things from that. Extra supply. Everything to help my supply, I will keep throwing out. We've got big armies now. Can I see? Yeah, we've got 521, so we've got twice as many legions as them. Um, how many legions do these guys have? Uh, no. And they've got 120, so... Yeah, we can easily win these wars. I'm not going to necessarily try and take anything off Ligiri. It will be down here. So actually, we're going to we're going to do this. Um, we're going to take here. It's going to be the first region we're going to cla lay claim to. So that is Sixtantio. Oh, of Nabrosis. Yeah. Yeah, they had a Frisia? They've got territory there. Okay, we're gonna need a fleet here. How have they got territory there? Um, I did not even think that that was them. Um, okay. Anyway. Let us start positioning armies. No, I'm not going to go straight away. Just having the claim at the moment. I want to build my uh, manpower up a bit first, because we are going to lose a big old chunk of manpower here. Um, why are we marching into their territory? Oh, because that's where we could put them. <laughs> Should have claimed that bit of territory. Not that I'd have even considered taking it.
there you go. So splitting my armies up to the two fronts, where the two fronts are going to be. We've obviously got a smaller force down here to attack these guys. Um, we'll auto grab some territory as well from where our fortifications are. A big push is going to be in here. We're going to take here early on. And we're just going to try and grab as much territory as we can. And yeah, so um, Achoria has expanded. And then it's going to be preparing for the wars with Achoria. Because, let's be honest, they are going to happen. It's going to be a bit of a wig squiggly border. But Achoria should not be too difficult to defend. Oh, and they're already at war with Macedon. I suspect there's going to be lots of wars between all of the great powers. I've been, I've been kept out of them relatively at the moment, so... Um, when you consider all these big powers started as relative size, even Achoria starts as a reasonable size. I started as a tiny little place. See, we do definitely use the roads, and I don't think it would be useful to build roads. It's just a real hassle to continually build roads. Anyway, I think we're about ready to start. They are going to hit me, but the aim here is not to necessarily fight them instantly. It's to just to defend my borders. Macedon's going to join. Oh. I mean, that's not too bad. Um, moving forward with a few people. Oh! Yeah, a Macedon's joined. Not massively fussed about Macedon, worried about Macedon. Okay, you can just pile in. Bit of a battle here, which we should win easily. You can pull down to support these guys. Okay, we've got a few things coming in here. You can pull down to here, so you can go support. You can hold there. Watch what our second force does. Get in there now. They're definitely reinforcing. Oh, we've already won. You can hold there. You can push out there. Alright, let's have a look what's going on up here. What? We were defeated? Uh, have him flogged. Let's move some more troops down to build that. Fight a big battle there. Like I said, we're not necessarily being aggressive there. Let's push up to that fortification. You can get your butt in there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, get in. Get those reinforcements in. There we go. That was close. I would still like another force down here, to be fair.
Oh, we've got these guys. I completely forgot about. Hit them. And this is where my fortifications come in useful. And we win that one with these. You can start pulling up there, as can you. No, 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 you are coming down this way. Especially as we're about to have troops land in us here. Let's get some mercs into this as well. And we've got the income, so... Mercs don't cost any manpower. Move back and fight them there. We're doing well up here, to be fair. Oh god, it takes us so long to get anywhere in here. I think we've done quite well down here, up here. That battle, it's a big battle, but we did well. We've pushed them out. They do have reinforcements coming in, but we can also reinforce here if needs be. Oh wow. Yeah, they've got a lot of reinforcements coming in. If they win that, we will we can pull back. But yeah, I'm not gonna go in just yet. I don't think we're gonna win that battle, but we'll get all the forces ready to go. It would have been close, actually. I may have got reinforcements in there in time, but I don't want to risk it. I maybe should have kept a few more troops on that border. Oh. I mean, that was a vicious battle on both sides, so... Nice, but the treatment was successful. How much do they still have in there? Hit them. Ah, they're retreating. Like I said, this is where I'm not necessarily so fussed. Um, as long as we can hold the line. Though we are taking negatives at the moment, it's because we've not captured our war goal yet. we've captured that war goal, things will start switching around. Ooh, we've got somebody there. Let's go hit them. Yeah, we're auto-recapping that. Ooh, let's spread them. So most of their forces have disappeared off. They could be coming down here. And that's something I do want to be aware of, that they are. So let's get a few stacks heading that way. They are sending them some more in there. This is where I could have done with a few more roads. So 
send reinforcements in to bolster that. Oh, that should be an easy victory. He says, while looking at how many other people there are there. Are we in that? Yeah. We're going to hold there for now. Siege one. That's the one we wanted. Oh, we've got two war bands here. One weaker, one. That's nice. We're gonna, gonna smash here, which will get our war goal uh, very quickly. At which point, everything should start. Ooh. Start moving troops this way. Ooh, reducing our port maintenance seems good to me. Let's make sure we win that battle. They are locked in. We'll have a lot of troops there shortly. We should be able to win that one, even without the reinforcements, but I want to make sure, because we get the terrain advantage because we've got the fort there. They've got this other big stack there, so I do need to pay attention to that. Get your butt back up there, please. Now things are very much going in our favour. There we go. Somebody gained Conqueror. We're apparently going to lose that battle. We are fighting in mountain passes up here, which isn't great for us. guys can pull back just to regroup a bit. I don't care about the mercs, they can throw themselves right into the anime actually. They can go and try and take there. Like I said, we're not aiming, the aim of this is not to take any Ligurian territory, so. Ooh, they threw another army in there, foolishly. Yeah, we've got that nicely, and that's their army's batter. How are they doing? Yeah, they've still got 260 cohorts, but that doesn't mean full cohorts. Oh, we're losing this one though. How are we doing down here? We're still holding here. Let's pull one of those groups out because don't want everybody piled on top of each other. We're winning that battle, though it's gonna be a it's not been a nice battle. You can Oh no, we lost the battle. But we've won that. Those last few little bits there are going to be tricky for us. Again, we've burnt a lot of manpower in this war, but we had the manpower to spare. It's gonna take us a little bit of time to rebuild afterwards. Um, I do want to finish them off and put right into Italy proper up here. Because I basically I want places we can properly attack Achoria. Oh, they will. I won't be able to completely wipe these guys out. So I could just leave it here. But I don't want to have to fight through it. I want an in, basically, so I can cut them off if needs be. Let's 
for everything at this. This is a mountain pass. It is not going to be an easy battle. What is this army made of? Oh, it's because we're throwing, throwing lightweight armies against it as well. They are pulling back now, however. Let's throw some mercs in at their capital. Well, some of their capital provinces. It's not their actual capital. Oh wow, they've hired mercs here. Well, they want to die. And we have not even seen Macedon. I don't think these guys can actually attack anything until they've uh, left my territory and joined it, so I'm not hugely worried. Yeah, because literally we're going to be on top of them here. They physically can't actually take my territory until they lose it, which I don't think the AI has worked out yet. If only they'd give me a, give me access. <laughs> I could build some ships here, actually. Let's do that. Oh, I have to build them here. It's not worth it. Not for 0.5 of a uh, reduction. We are technically a war with a big power, but they're not involved in this. Is there anything I want to take here? I could just gouge out, gouge out that, but I don't see the point. No, I'll, I'll have enough uh, aggressive expansion from this, so. Sit on this and let the war score take a bit more. Uh, yeah, reduce unrest, that sounds good to me. Uh, extra four defense also sounds good to me. Ooh, my mercs are getting battered there. It's a mercenary leader. Who cares if they die? Governor's gone. Let's get a new governor in there. This should keep ticking, surely. Oh, let's send some troops there. And we've got some Macedonians have managed to get all the way here. some of these troops out. Yeah, we'll catch them. A bit, nice victory. Hmm. 
it will keep ticking and eventually we'll get a status quo piece where we can forcibly take everything we hold, so... Ooh, big force coming in. Let's prepare for that. I'm going to start capping some territory up here. Be just because of the war score bonuses it will give us. We keep some people down here just in case they do throw something this way, but I'm not massively worried by that. Ooh! reinforcements into that because that's a big old battle and I don't want them reinforcing. What's happened to my fortress? How did they get around that? Yeah, it's a good thing I reinforced there. They've got a lot of troops around here. We may well be forced to just accept something soon. Come on! They have the troops, but they've already lowered morale. We're equal on things. Um, ooh, they scarily have the discipline. Um, oh, we've got lots of heavy cavalry. They, this, this is going to go down. Yeah, they are doing a lot of damage to us. We're going to win, but it's going to be a if they get more reinforcements. Right, now we, we, we sue. Gets me everything in there. Can I get that? Hmm. I'm, I'm crumbling up here, and that's what worries me. I will lose war score if I don't accept this. So I'm going to take that. That's still a good chunk of ter territory. That's still what I wanted. Get some cash out of them, too. Okay. There we need a new governor up here. Definitely getting cultural assimilation duties. So we've left a little bit of territory for them. Uh, not much. Uh, we do now have peace treaties with all of these guys. Um, and yeah, it's now. And that is our first war with Macedon. I think we, we, we came off, off well from that first little war. Start spreading these guys around. And we now have some borders on Etruria. Um, we very definitely want to build fortifications here. This place is a beauty to hold, but at the same time, it's dangerous to hold because um, because there's not that much supply there. We're getting there. Oh god, we've got over an hour. 
So I am going to end this one here, guys. After that, that war, we do need to build up. And I think I, I wasn't built up enough. So we're going to really build up before our next few wars, guys. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll get there. As always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you are enjoying this playthrough of Albion. And we're getting quite big. Um, please feel free to pop any comments in the comments section or jump over to my Discord and say hi. There's a link to my Discord in the comments and description as well as links to my Twitter, my Patreon and my affiliations with Overclockers and Humble Bundle Games, guys. So please check them out. And that, if you are new to my channel, please like and subscribe and thank you very much for watching.